Hello, my name is Emil, or Okifoya, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, do motion tracking in After Effects. And uh, I'm quickly going to show you what, I, uh, what we're going to be producing today. Uh, I'm doing this tutorial because I've had 20 likes on the video that, or oh, over 20 likes on the video that uh, I created about motion tracking. It was a motion tracking test video. And uh, I've now hit 20 likes, over 20 likes, and I promised that I would do a tutorial once I hit 20 likes. So that's great. I'm quickly going to show you what I'm making. This is what we're going to be making today. Just a quick uh, motion tracking video. See, as you see, the text is tracked to this object here, this here, and uh, we're basically gonna do that. Uh, what you want to do is gonna go ahead and open After Effects, go to File New, File New Project. Obviously, I'm already in a new project. Uh, I'm pretty tired guys <laughs> and uh, you want to import your clip I'm probably going to upload this clip and uh, so you guys can try and leave video responses so what you want to do is import your clip and this clip or any other clip and uh, drag it down to this composition button here this will automatically uh, size it and uh, uh, the appropriate time will be here as well then all you want to do is firstly go to layer new null object and then if it's not already down here you want to go to window and select tracker and this will bring up this uh, tab here then you want to click on your clip go to track motion everything should be in order but if it isn't motion source should be the name of the clip uh, current track should be track 1 and track type should be transform uh, position should be selected and you want to go to edit target and make sure it's on layer and on uh, the layer is no uh, no one uh, which is the no object we just created then you want to uh, move this tracker point to somewhere of high contrast and uh, here is a really good spot uh, the bigger your tracker is the more the longer it will take uh, but uh, the better the track will be and uh, tracking also depends on a lot of stuff which I'll explain in a second uh, next you want to go to is uh, under here there will be like a play button this is basically going to start off the tracking process as you see it's already failed because uh, the track wasn't uh, on point so I'm going to redo that by doing the undo button and I'm going to move this tracker to make it a little bit bigger and uh, yeah so I click that play button and you can see the track is much better because uh, a wider area is being uh, seen by After Effects uh, and uh, yeah uh, tracking is dependent on how long the video is or the clip and how uh, and the uh, the size of the, uh, the size in terms of megabytes slash gigabytes and uh, the quality of the video so uh, that, that determines tracking so uh, we'll join back once it has finished tracking and we're back uh, the motion track is just finished what you want to do straight away is uh, click the apply button and this is and click OK on X and Y and uh, this will automatically put it onto the null object here you can see all those dots that we tracked before are now paired with that null object and now part of the null object and uh, I'm quickly going to change the preview back down to half so I can quickly show you guys that the uh, you can see the red box the red box is uh, moving with the the uh, thing we tracked and uh, yeah next uh, you probably want to add some text quickly just going to add some something that says uh, shop 
here or something. Change it to uh, nice, nice color. It's probably the same color as that. Change that to Helvetica because Helvetica is a good font. And uh, yeah, you're basically just gonna add some uh, some good text. Bring that in a little bit. Probably be best if I just make it all capitals. Motion tracking by Oakley Boy. I don't even know. You can pretty much just write anything you want. Do whatever you like. And uh, all your text controls are on the side here. So you can change them as you please. So I'm not going to spend too long on this. And. Uh, Basically, you want to drag it over, maybe make it a little bit smaller, maybe uh, drop the opacity, if you want to drop the opacity of uh, anything on After Effects, the shortcut key is T on your keyboard, you have to select the layer obviously, select the layer first and click T, it brings up the opacity, so you might want to drop that a little bit, that's uh, why I did wrong course and uh, yeah so uh, we got a rubbish text here and uh, you can obviously improve it as you wish add other stuff so what you want to do is uh, for simple motion tracking what you want to do is uh, uh, pair these two together so uh, you drag that over yeah, you drag the you drag the text into the null object. Or oh, you can't do that. There we go. Um, I don't know why you didn't just uh, use the pinwheel tool. But if it doesn't work, what you want to do is uh, pinwheel the null the null object to the text. And uh, but if that doesn't work, you just go down here and uh, select it. So uh, as you can see, it's already started to move with the text, and obviously you're probably going to want to reposition it so it's in line. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much as simple as that in terms of tracking. But uh, to make it a little bit more, uh, a little bit more three D, a little bit more part of the world, you might want to click on the text and click on this little cube here this will make it a 3D object then you uh, go up to here up to this camera looking tool and go to uh, orbit camera controls but first thing, obviously you're probably going to need to add a camera <laughs> so uh, add camera 50mm is fine and you can then change the position of the text as you can see it just looks a little bit more part of the world there and uh, the cool thing is it'll go out short and uh, it makes it look more lovely as if it's kind of gone out of frame like you see the M has completely like half of it has gone out of frame which makes it look more a little bit more uh, lifelike I, could, I should say and uh I think that's about it. You can add uh obviously your usual stuff, you can add uh uh adjustment layer and add some uh, color color correction. So effect color correction curves that's the best color correction if you don't have any plugins and I'm quickly just gonna load a preset here. Just gonna wait for it to load. Does uh, take a few minutes because uh, my computer isn't the best. This is uh, why. <laughs> to also, um, while this is loading, if you are having problems pre-rendering, you can change that. 
this uh, this uh, value here, the the lower you go, the faster it renders. And also here, you can change how much how many frames it gets when you're doing a RAM preview, and what resolution it it uh, renders that in RAM preview. So uh, I'm quickly just going to click a preset here. So that's a completely random one. Doesn't look very good. I think four is good. Four is not good. <laughs> These are mainly for cod edits. You can, you know, I, I release some of these in a color correction pack, but uh, you guys basically get the idea. You can create something uh, a bit different, a bit unique. Uh, I'm gonna go with that one because it looks the less, most less crazy. Uh, whenever you add color correction, it takes longer to render, so you might want to drop the uh, resolution uh, down so you can pre-render it. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for motion tracking. If you want to motion track something to uh, an object in a in a 3D world, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it, if the tutorial helped you in any way, please go ahead and like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Uh, doing those four things really does help out the channel. And uh, thank you for listening to this. If it uh, really does. Uh, <laughs> I'm just babbling now so uh, that was motion tracking in After Effects uh, thank you for listening and goodbye